Jamoy, uh, just talk about real quick, what's it like to be here, uh, having a chance to compete in the national championship? It feels very good. And my first year we got, when I got here, we had the uh, Kobe year. We wanted to get into the bowl game, but we weren't able to play it. And then last year, we didn't make it to a bowl game. And I was just see how the team just progressed. And now we're competing for a national championship, so it feels very good. When did you notice there was going to be a big difference this year compared to the last couple years? Uh, in the spring, or the winter workouts, really right down the new coach step got here. I saw everybody was locked in and buying in, and everybody wanted to change. And everybody wanted to flip the whole program around. You guys at linebacker have played exceptionally well. I mean, between yourself, D, and Johnny, y'all have all had big moments this season. Can you talk a little bit about how you guys have played together? Uh, it feels we play together. We all fit real well and stuff, but we all got a feel for each other. And I know, like, I fit tight. I know D gonna be right there on the outside to come make the play, or I know I feel on the other side. Johnny gonna be right there, and I always got trust in them that they gonna do their job, and they got trust in me that I'm gonna do their job. So we all just be able to make plays together. You guys have played some pretty good offenses this year, facing the Big Twelve. Some pretty good quarterbacks. What are you seeing, Stetson Bennett? Uh, he's a good, he's a great quarterback. He can throw the ball. He can also run too. He can get pressed. He can tuck it and run too. And he also he won a national championship last year, so he's a good team. It's kind of like him and Max Duggan are similar in a lot of ways, playing style. They're they want to compete and win. They don't like losing. What's it like having to face a guy that's pretty much just like your quarterback? Uh, it feels pretty good, but I got a very good, great faith in Max that he's going to do better. Okay. So there's a – I don't know if you've paid attention or not, but there's been some quarterbacks that have been knocked out this year. <laughs> and usually it's number six on defense, and you're not meaning to do that, but is it crazy when you when you kind of look back and think of some of those plays? Or some of them are just yeah. routine plays. Yeah, it was just like – I don't really, I don't have never had no attention to hurt anybody. I done had injured myself, but it's just, at the end of the day, it's football, like, stuff happens, so I just play very hard, so. What did it mean last week against I, I Michigan? It felt like all week you guys were kind of being counted out. Not really a whole lot of people are giving you guys a chance to win that game. What did it feel like to, to leave that game knowing that you guys were the more physical team? Uh, it felt very good because, you know, we had a lot of doubt. A lot of people doubted us. They didn't think we would be able to hold up against that type of offense, and we really proved the world wrong. I was just ready to shock the world even more. Sorry. So you were at Indy back in 2020, was that 19? 19, 19 yeah. Okay. So you're all the way from a little bitty Indy, Kansas, playing Juco ball. Now you're playing for a national championship on Monday. Have you allowed yourself to think about that for a minute and just close your eyes and dream of what it'd be like to win a national championship? Yes, sir. Always. Just, it's like it's been a journey I, where I started leaving high school with only one D2 offer and then with the Juco left with 20 D1 offers and with the number one line recognition. It just felt good to see my journey and now I'm able to compete for a national championship.